morning you guys welcome back to the vlogs today is friday and i'm so happy i worked out this morning which fridays are my favorite day to work out by the way because they remind me so much of college um because fridays were like the nights that we would go out and so like friday was like a full-on production we'd like go to weights in the morning if you didn't know i played volleyball in college so we had weights in the morning and then we would go eat breakfast a lot of us didn't have class on fridays so we would like go back to our rooms and um like take a nap and like we woke up so early for weights that by the time we like did all of that and like took a nap showered, did all of that it would only be like 11 12 o'clock and we had like the rest of the day we're like planning out what we're gonna eat what we're eating for like lunch dinner um like where we're pre-gaming like where we're going who's riding with who like what we're wearing like who's doing whose hair like it was just like a full production and so fridays have just since then always been so fun for me because it just like reminds me that like the weekend is near and it's like time to enjoy yourself and so um yeah but anyways today's friday i just pulled up at work i'm about to go inside um but if you're new here and are not subscribed to my channel then you definitely should and make sure you guys like this video and leave me a little comment down below it really helps me out and i really appreciate it um and i don't really have too many crazy plans this weekend it's memorial day weekend um so I just wanted to vlog, take you guys along with me. We'll see what we get up into. And yeah, I'm gonna go inside. I'm home. Oh my God, I need to shave my armpits. I shouldn't have done that. Um, but I am like really happy. I just got off a call with my management team. Um, I think I talked a little bit about it in the last vlog, but. I, this is really annoying for me to chew gum, hold on. Okay, so I just got off a call with my management team and we were just like talking about, you know, like my content and like kind of where I wanted to go and stuff. And I feel very like liberated after that conversation and I'm very excited for just like everything to come. Like I feel like I'm entering into a new era in my life and I'm just excited to like share more of me and like my actual life and not just like fashion and related stuff. I feel like I'm really good about doing it on here, but on other platforms, I just find it so hard. Like I feel like I'm like cringy whenever I like share certain things. And so I'm very excited to, I don't know, just like switch the trajectory of like the things that I've been creating. Um, but anyways, today's Friday. Just got home from work and Jonathan's supposed to be coming over. We're gonna do dinner, keep it casual tonight. I honestly have a lot of content that I need to catch up on. So that's probably what I'm gonna focus on mainly tonight. And then it's Memorial Day weekend. I don't have any crazy plans tomorrow, but Sunday we always do like a picnic at the park. Um, we have a really big like Jamaican community here and we always do stuff. Um, my mom's a part of like their committee and um, we like cook and like have music and like it's just like a really fun evening We always do that on the Sunday of Memorial Day. So that's the plans for the weekend I really want to go to Sephora because I've been influenced by TikTok and Yeah, but I'm gonna take you guys along with me. I hope you all are having an amazing day. Let's get into the vlog Okay, so I got probably one of the most exciting PR packages I've ever received in my entire life from replica and they sent me the beach walk fragrance and candle so i got it earlier this week but this week has just been very chaotic and i haven't opened it yet i honestly didn't want to ruin the packaging because it's so pretty but everyone when i posted my little unboxing on my instagram story everyone was like i love this scent i love that scent you guys really love replica i personally though have smelt their fragrances in store and i wasn't like the biggest fan but i will say that whenever i spray fragrances on the little cards at like sephora or ulta they always alter the smell and i don't like them as much then like i smell them again like on other people or whatever and i'm like when i smelled it it didn't smell like that but i definitely think it's the cards like change the scent um Sorry, my alarm. Um, but I definitely feel like the cards changed the scent of the fragrance because even now that I'm opening, I'm like, oh, this actually smells like pretty good. Um, so let's see. Ooh, I wasn't expecting it to be this color. I thought it was gonna be like a blue color because obviously it's beach walk. Hmm. Oh, that's nice. It's like fresh. 
and soft, which I like. And the candle, their candles are so pretty. I'm excited um, to like have this in my apartment. Honestly, I don't think I'm gonna burn this. Maybe I'll keep this for my apartment and this will be like the first candle I light in my apartment whenever I finally move in like half, half a year. Because rent prices are insane. Um, it's pretty though. Look how pretty this is. Hmm. Very light. I feel like I would put this in my bathroom or my kitchen. Ooh, okay. Well, that was fun. And they, they sent this too. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. But it's like little postcards and I don't know if you guys can see there's images on those little postcards and they're cute but I don't know what I'm gonna do with this sometimes I get PR packages and I'm like I want to keep this but then I'm like where am I gonna put it like why do I need to keep that so yeah we're trying to decide on dinner right now I have no idea what I want to eat and what I do actually want to eat is like 30 minutes away which I feel like is kind of ridiculous we are at one of our literal favorite places ever the good dog. I think I talked about it before on here. It's so good. It's gourmet hot dogs. But they're so good. I don't even like hot dogs. Jonathan introduced me to this place. I don't even like hot dogs. And these are the best hot dogs ever. And the fries. And the sauce. So good. I like the red one. And Jonathan likes... What is that? What do you think is in these sauces? I figured out what you said it was. Like the red one tastes like ketchup and like ginger. And then the this one tastes like it's like mayo and something else. Wow. And I got a cider. I also don't like beer but I love cider. Okay, so I get the guaca dog. It's so good. Jonathan gets the rodeo. Uh -huh. There's mac and cheese on it. It's so looking good. And then this is the cider that they gave me. Guys, they have a stray cat that lives here. And he just has been roaming. It is a beautiful day here in Houston, Texas, and don't mind the fact that my bed isn't made. I want to do my makeup routine on camera because I feel like I haven't really shared it with you guys in a while. Um, I like obviously do my makeup and stuff all the time, but I don't really share the products because I feel like it's the same, but I switch up my routine and I just want to like share it, sit, chat, um, because I don't know. I feel like I'm like going through a little life change um so many things are like changing in my life right now and it's like I don't know weird but we're gonna get ready this is the best makeup bag I talk about it all the time um it's by Bays. it's literally just like a giant tub and it's really great for travel because you can close it up I mean I have way too much stuff in here right now to close it but you can close it up zip it and then it has a little hook you can put it on your carry-on or whatever and then at the bottom here there's a little zipper and you can put like your makeup brushes in here I put like my bigger palettes and stuff at the bottom and you can also put like a mirror or something down here I think it's meant to be a toiletry bag but I personally prefer it as a makeup bag I hate like the structured makeup bags I feel like this is just like smaller and compact um and then I am going to put on sunscreen. I unfortunately am not someone who is really good about putting on sunscreen in the winter time, but in the summer, I try my best to do it even like if I'm not wearing makeup. So this one is by Black Girl Sunscreen. They came out with a matte version, but the only reason I got it is because it's SPF 45. Um, instead of the SPF 30, this is the other one that I use, and I use this on my face and my body. I love it. Um, I need to get another one of that one but this one is more matte so I like wearing it whenever I have on makeup because it doesn't like alter what my makeup looks like so I just put this on but like I was saying I feel like I'm going through like a really weird like transition in life like 
I don't know, obviously I've graduated, I started working and like, I'm like making grown up decisions, I guess, but it's like really weird because I want to like move out and do all these things that these are things that I've been wanting to do for literal years. If you go back and watch my old, old, old vlogs, like right after I graduated from Lamar, um, I was like distraught because I wanted to be in an apartment so bad i just wanted like my independence and it just like wasn't possible obviously i graduated and i didn't graduate with the degree that i wanted i wanted to graduate with a nursing degree and then i filled out a nursing school obviously so i was still like dealing with that and then um i i'm going with the nars concealer to spot conceal and then i was applying for nursing schools. I got into another nursing school and then I started. So I was in school. I was working part time at Ulta, but that was like obviously not enough to like support a lifestyle. And then um, I was in school for like the last two years and I like, I feel like I've kind of started taking content creation seriously maybe like a year or two ago. And then I like just started to like make any sort of money from it last year. And. I don't know it's just like now I feel like I have the freedom to do all the things that I want to do and it's like very exciting but what I'm struggling with is I guess relaying that on my social media what is this Ew. um trying to relay this on social media I feel like I'm an open book I am not very like shy about like stuff that I've been through like I feel like I share a lot of like my vulnerable stuff with you guys but I guess I I just don't know how to do it more often and um just like my day-to-day -day, I feel like it's also hard when I'm not in my own space because obviously I have to keep in mind the like my family and like my friends and the people around me not everybody wants to be on camera like they didn't sign up to do this I did and so I feel bad like throwing them you know on camera all the time and like just like flashing a camera in their face because they didn't sign up to do this but I did and I love sharing stuff but not everyone is always camera ready or not everyone likes to be on camera in the first place and so I find that I just like vlog the you know let me do an unboxing or do you want to see like all my new clothes or you know just like all of the like perfectly planned out parts of my life instead of just to like random Jonathan and I like in the car just like having like conversations or me and my mom in the kitchen just like talking about whatever and um I don't know it's just like hard to incorporate all of that not that I don't want to but I just feel bad so I feel like when I'm in my own space I can like I have more control over like what's going on and I can share more like home stuff I can share like my moving process all of that and so I don't know I just feel like I'm in like a really weird transition and I was talking about it with my management yesterday and they were just you know saying how like they're just like excited for this new chapter like kind of this transition for me because I think that it'll be good for me but it'll also be good for you guys because I feel like you'll get to learn more about me because I feel like I'm like fun and I like I don't know I I have so much more personality that I feel like I don't really get to share online and I want to share it I just don't know how to share it um so yeah that's just like what's been going through my mind but it's a really pretty day today I really want to go to Sephora because I was influenced by TikTok like I told you guys yesterday um I just went in with the Dibs contour stick I cannot rave about this stick more I talk about it all the time but I really just can't rave about it more it's so good I get the shade 6, which is the darkest shade that they have, and it's the most gorgeous contour. Um, and I also have a discount code, a permanent discount code with them. I think it's Tamar 20, Tamar 15, one of the two. I'll put it on the screen, and I'll also put it down below. If you guys want to check it out, I highly, highly recommend it. It is such a good product. Um, and then I like to use her blush as well, but I use it in the shade 5.5, which is a shade down from shade 6, obviously. And I love this blush color. It's so pretty. So I just put it on. It's like a very soft blush, which I like. I honestly, though, lately have been using my Rare Beauty blush. This is in the shade Joy. 
and I forgot how much I loved this product. I stopped using it in the winter because I felt like it was just like too, I don't know, summery. Like it's a really pretty like peachy color. Um, but I've been using it recently and I really like it. But I'm going in with the Dibs one today and I blend it out with this e.l.f. brush that I got at Walmart. And I do all of this with no foundation on. And I only spot conceal under like obviously my contour and stuff but now I'm gonna go in with my actual like brightening concealer and I've been putting it back on my nose again I feel like that was like really popular for a while um I have been liking the Kosas concealer I bought this a while ago I've been using it and I really like it but I was watching this girl on TikTok why can I not I never remember her name Michaela um i will like put her tiktok name on here i love her videos because she does like very like natural glowy makeup which is like kind of what i like um, i'm not really like a full like cakey face type of girl it's just not for me um but she was talking about the Kosas concealer and she was like i just can't figure out how to set it like i feel like it creases so bad and i couldn't agree more i feel like it just like it doesn't hold it's so lightweight and it's stunning on but i find that like by the end of the day i have no concealer on so i bought the hourglass again because this is what i was using for a really long time and it is the best concealer ever and because it's the summertime i use the smallest amount like this much here 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 on my forehead down my nose and that's it um just to brighten and i like doing it after because i think it like blends i don't know i think it blends better once i put on like my concealer and my blush and like if i feel like it's a little too harsh then i'll just go back in with blush on top just to like soften it oh it looks so good i just love how it brightens my face and just like makes me instantly look more alive i'll set it with the laura mercier under eye setting powder my goal is to use as little powder as possible because i want to still look glowy i just have to make sure that you know obviously like my makeup stays on throughout the day and then what's next what's next what's next charlotte tilbury powder i'm in the shade four i think is the darkest shade um and i just set the places that i didn't put like i would have put foundation but didn't put foundation sides of my nose and my forehead mainly And it adds just like the slightest bit of color so that it looks like I have on foundation but I don't actually have on foundation. To set my blush, I use literally the best blush palette of all time. This is by Jaclyn Hill. I love this blush palette and I feel like all the blushes that I have that I like that I use have a corresponding color in this palette. So obviously today we use the Dibs um stick so i'm gonna use this shade here and this shade but whenever i do the um rare beauty blush i'll do this shade because it has that really pretty like peachy tone um so i'm gonna take those two and i just top where i put my blush and sometimes i like will like drag the excess onto my eye just to act like i have on eyeshadow um, I like to set my bronzer with this Joey bronzer I'm sorry if I'm looking in the viewfinder I just I'm too lazy to like hold a mirror in front of my face the whole time okay now if I want to do a little bit more glam or just like look a little bit more done up like I want my face to look a little bit more lifted I will take just a dark brown eyeshadow. This is from the Dose of Colors Desi and Katie palette. This is no longer sold, but it's just like a dark brown. And I'll take this Anastasia brush. This is the 7B brush. Um, and I will just draw a wing out and line it up with my bottom lash line. And just do like the tiniest little wing. And it really just like lifts the eye and elongates the eye.
just like that. Can you see it? <laughs> For mascara, this is the new Lancome Le 8 Hypnos. I saw Julia do a... Um, uh, ad for them. I love her. I feel like I talk about her in every vlog. But I saw her do an ad for them and I immediately went to Ulta and bought it because I was running out of mascara anyway so I needed to get a new mascara. So I just got this one. And I like it so far. I have really short eyelashes so my expectations are very low honestly. And I don't put anything on my bottom lashes. And then, lastly, brows. I switch back and forth between brow products. Um, right now, I am liking the brow wiz again. So I'm going to take this and just brush it on my brows. I don't put any color in my brows, though. I just do this just to shape them, lift them, hold them in place. Okay, and then some days I'll go in with a lip, but I'm not really doing anything crazy. So I sometimes will take my bronzer. So this is the Dibs Beauty bronzer. And I'll use it as a lip liner just to like give myself like a natural lip line, I guess. So just go around the edge and the top. And I just take my finger and blend it out. And then now I can just take any sort of gloss and just put it on because my lips are technically already lined. This is by Pat McGrath. And that's it. Makeup's done. And it's very simple, easy. It doesn't take that long. Obviously I was talking the whole time so it takes a little bit longer. I pin curled my hair last night or I put that little rod thing like wrapped my hair around it so I have like a natural little curl here I don't have to do my hair which is very nice my alarm to post something on Instagram is going off everyone always wonders how I balance working and doing content creation I set alarms for literally everything to remind myself to do stuff because I will forget also this is another one of the skims sets I got it in the brown and I love it. I even Jonathan was like, these are really soft. Um, so I got the long sleeve version and then just like the boxer shorts. And I absolutely love them. They're so comfortable. They feel like literal butter. And I will continue to buy them. I never want to sleep in anything else. Boyfriend of the year, you guys. I get the Southwest scramble. And can I add chicken? Yeah, grilled or fried. Uh, grilled. Okay. And then can I also get a orange juice mimosa? Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Stop spilling it. Oh my god. It's good though. Mm -hmm. I need a napkin. I got this out for scramble. It's my favorite. We're at Dish Society. I just got a matcha latte. Maybe it'll counteract the mimosa. So then I won't be tired. <laughs> good luck. You don't think so? I have no idea. We're gonna find out. I just got a matcha from Kona Roastery. I think that's uh, what it's called. It's, it's in Katy, and I really like their matcha. Um, it's like the only place in Houston I've ever found like decent matcha. It's not even in Houston. What'd you say? It's not in Houston. I know, but like in the, it's in the vicinity. Yeah. It's awesome. Like people aren't, I mean, I guess people do, but like, you're not gonna, if you're, you're not gonna categorize Katy as its own city. But it is. I know, but it's so minuscule yeah. compared to In Houston. a general sense, I would say like, oh, I'm from Houston. Exactly. 
Like, if you told anyone in the world, you wouldn't say I'm from Katy, Texas. They're gonna be like, where is that? If they say what part of Houston I'm from, yeah, I just think. Exactly. I assume I kind of like put Houston as like the uh -huh. the top of the umbrella, and then like Katy would be like a branch of Houston. Like Cypress would be a branch of Houston. Missouri City would be a branch of Houston. Like they weren't always. Hmm. I said they weren't always. I know, but. Sephora too and I did a haul for TikTok but I guess I can show you guys I got the flawless filter I tried I have the mini size but obviously it's gonna run out soon so I got the full size they actually had it in stock in my shade um, but like none of the lighter shades were in stock which I thought was very funny um, and then I saw Monet on a TikTok talk about the Caudalie a beauty elixir and I'm really excited to try this I love face mist especially at night so um, hopefully I really like this and it'll like keep my skin hydrated since I have such dry skin and then I saw Michaela she was talking about the youth to the people and I've heard so many people talk about youth to the people but I've never actually tried any of their products um, and so I got their purifying super clay purify and clear power mask um, I love a clay mask because I have such tiny pores it's really hard to get anything out of them so I feel like this would be really good for me it has niacinamide kombucha and BHA I love AHA and BHA so I feel like this will agree with my skin and then I got the super berry hydrate and glow mask it has vitamin C and hyaluronic acid which are also products that I feel like really agree with my skin and it's an overnight mask and I love overnight mask I don't have a lot but when I find a good one I try to cherish them so I'm really excited to try all these products I was influenced by TikTok to get every single one of these things so it'll be fun to like play around with stuff but we're headed to the mall Jonathan needs to run to the store and then we're gonna go home and watch Stranger Things yeah, if you don't fall asleep if I don't fall asleep that's why I got the matcha hopefully I can stay awake to watch Stranger Things if not Jonathan's just gonna have to recap it all because I can't be bothered to rewatch it. I'll have to explain it to you anyway, so. That's true. So, I'm just starting him early. That's all. Okay, so we just like stumbled. Well, we were in the area, and Jonathan has been talking about this apartment complex um, that he really wanted me to see. It's like not in the area that I'm looking at, but I saw photos and I was like, wow, it's stunning. So we were just like, we're in the area, we might as well just go like tour the place. So we're in the apartment right now, and I love when they give us self-guided tours so that I don't feel awkward vlogging. But this is the kitchen. It's gorgeous. And then this is the living room. I'm not the biggest fan of the accent wall, but I could look at that. Um, I love the backsplashes and like the countertops. They have it all staged right now. Obviously, like this isn't how I would style it, but this is the living room. It's a decent size too. Mm -hmm. Like it's pretty big. And a little mirror. And then the bathroom. It's really cute. Countertops. And shower, it's a pretty big tub, and then closet. Is this the only closet? So, yeah, this is closet. So. I could work with this. And then laundry. Yeah. It's a pretty big washer and dryer. And they're not stacked, which is nice. This is the same ones we have at home. <laughs> and bedroom. It's a decent size. The lighting's nice. Let's see. The light's off. Or I guess you can't turn it off. It has pretty decent lighting. I like the two big windows. Yeah, it's pretty bright in here. She's cute. I like the f I like the countertops. I like the finishes. I like the cabinets. And then you get a little balcony. This is obviously like their their staged apartment. So hopefully I'd be on a higher floor. I don't want to be on the first floor anywhere. And then a little balcony. She's cute.
I hate electric. So it talks about most apartments have electric. Yeah. They don't have gas. They take forever to heat up. That's why I don't like mm -hmm. them. This is really nice, though. Yeah. I'm moving up here. I like the touches. Mm -hmm. I wonder if all the apartments have an accent wall. You know what I always thought was so interesting? Like, I whenever like people like get their apartments and stuff and they start decorating and they start painting stuff. Do some apartments let you do that? Yeah, no, you can. They'll just. This is it close? Like, if you walk on a TV, you can do that. You just gotta ask. Yeah. Interesting. No, you just gotta catch it. Mm, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, painting, yeah. I guess so you have to paint it back, but how do you know the paint color? I mean, you can ask. Sure. Okay, same apartment complex, but this is now a two bed. So, closet, bathroom, same finishes, obviously, as the other one. This is shower, first bedroom, and they're decent sizes, I mm -hmm. feel like, for a two bed. Living room. They kind of stay just the same. Cute little like bar area. You have room for coffee table. I love the bookshelf wall. And this is the living room. You get the same balcony. Okay, my camera just died. So this is on my phone. This is the master bedroom. Big mirrors. I love the lighting in here. I feel like it gets really good lighting. And then this is the master bath. Shower. I like the glass shower. Oh, you get two. Shower, shower with the tub. And then a pretty decent sized closet. This is huge. It's like you can like even put your dresser in here so you don't have to have it in your room. What's behind here? Oh, and they have shelves back here. Did you see? Mm -hmm. Very nice. Built in cabinets in the bathroom for all my beauty products. Lots of storage, which was something that was at the top of my list. Storage and lighting are at the top of my list for apartments. I like this dresser. And we're back in the living room. It's a really cute space. Okay, this is the fitness center. It's huge. And they have a bunch of different things in here. And the pool is outside. The pool is so pretty. Everyone's out swimming right now. I wish I was out there with them. The pool is so nice. Look at this. Honestly, if it wasn't for the location, I swear I would sign a lease tomorrow. It's really nice. Like. Nothing for the salad, and I'll do um, a little bit of jalapenos on the wrap. I love to entertain, the old summer love to entertain, ridiculous. Back in my Skims Comfies, and I want to apply the face mask that I bought earlier. I posted um, a little unboxing on TikTok, and one of you guys commented and said that the power mask was really good. So I'm very excited. So I used to have a little applicator, but I think I let my brother use it, and honestly, I don't want anything that he's used um, back. So... We're just gonna have to use our fingers, but it's so hard because it's in a tub and I have nails. I'm gonna have to like use the back of my nails. Um, I'm, pl I'm applying it on a clean face. I haven't even read the instructions. Apply an even layer to clean skin. Leave on for 10 minutes. Rinse off. Use one to three times a week as needed. Awesome. I love clay masks. I have the tiniest pores, so hopefully this can get right on in there, especially like my nose, my chin and my forehead and my cheeks. I feel like I've been breaking out a lot like right here on my cheeks, but it's only one side of my face. So I can't tell if it's like the makeup products I use or um, how I sleep. Cause I sleep mainly on one side of my face. So I'm thinking that's what it is. Or just like, that's the side that I answer my phone on. So it could be a variety of factors. So far, I love how creamy this is. It's not like I feel like a lot of clay masks are hard to apply and this one is very nice. 
It just glides on the skin really well. I also have a hair mask in. I feel like I'm doing like a nice little self-care routine. I left Jonathan's pretty early and then came home, did laundry, caught up on YouTube videos, and I've just been chilling. Went and got dinner, as you guys saw from me and my mom. And this is the hair mask I have in right now. I think I posted or I shared that in like two vlogs ago. The company had sent them to me, sent it to me, and I tried it once and I liked it. And I feel like my hair is just like super brittle towards the ends. So I wanted to do a hair mask so that it didn't look so dry all the time. Like I feel like I was constantly trying to apply like serums and stuff to my ends to make them look a little bit more hydrated, but. Hopefully this hair mask will help, so. Okay, so I just washed off the mask. I also used the Beauty Elixir by Caudalie, this one. And it gave my skin like a really nice tingle. And then um, I followed that up with the mask by Youth to the People. So I kind of just like skipped my moisturizer and stuff. And I'm going to use that as an overnight mask. I still have a hair mask in my hair. Probably leave it in for like... I don't know, maybe like another 30 minutes, hour, and then I'm gonna wash it out and probably blow dry my hair because I don't have time to let this air dry before I go to bed. I'm tired. Um, but I'm gonna start editing this vlog. I don't know if it's long enough. I don't know if it's gonna be the end of the vlog or if I'm gonna vlog tomorrow. You guys will obviously know or see um, because I feel like I got so many clips today, especially at the apartment. Jonathan and I had so much fun touring that apartment. It was so gorgeous and like the space and the lighting and I don't know um but yeah that was a really fun day and i'm really happy that we went because it wasn't in the plans at all we kind of were just like oh you want to go look sure and they happened to have the realtors there and um they had um stage apartments that we could look at because not a lot of the apartments not all of the apartments that i've looked at had staged apartments so it was nice that they had one so we could see it even if they didn't have an open unit so um but yeah, I am going to chill, go to bed, and I will either see you guys in the next vlog or talk to you tomorrow. <laughs>